We've been talking about Keith Herring, and we've created two paintings. And now what we're going to do is cut out those paintings and glue them onto a piece of construction paper. So you want to make sure when you're cutting that you move the paper instead of moving your scissors around. You can move the paper and then just keep those scissors going in the same direction. There's no rule that says you have to cut it all out in one big cut. You can stop and you can come back in in another direction and cut it out that way if it's easier. Finally what you'll do is you'll open the glue bottle by twisting the lid and then you're going to use what I call ladybug dots where you just make small dots where the glue bottle touches the paper every time. You don't want to drip from way up high but you want to cover the back of that painting with little dots and you carefully flip it over and lay it on the construction paper press it with your hands to make sure all those little pieces are snugly put down on there. Then you want to dip the tip of your paintbrush so that just the tips of the hair are ready and then you can add those little motion lines in there very carefully. And now we've got one of our paintings done. You can put that on the drying rack and finish the second one.